Hi, in this question we're given a line and a plane and we're asked to find the angle between that line and plane. So let's just I'll talk about the concept for a second. So here's our plane and then we have a line that goes right through the plane like this and we are asked to find this acute angle right here between the line and the plane. So if I draw a normal to the plane, normal meaning it's perpendicular to the plane, so it's 90 degrees, and if I take the dot product, I'll get this angle right here, theta. Vertical angles state that they'll be the same, so that'll also be theta. Now, the, the angle that I wanted is right here, and since this is a right triangle, that means that this angle right here is 90 minus theta. Now the trick is, and that's easy enough, but to do even less work, uh, the dot product says to use cosine. Instead, if you use sine, you'll get straight to this angle because 90 minus theta, cosine of 90 minus theta is sine. So that's, that's the little trick. So uh, first we need to convert this equation into vector form. So let's say that r is equal to my position vector plus t times my direction vector. So if I set this whole thing equal to t, multiply by 1 on both sides, I get 1t, add 1, I get 1. So x, x is equal to 1 plus t, y will be multiply by 2, subtract 1, so y will be minus 1 plus 2t, multiply by 3, subtract 4, and then multiply it by a negative, so instead of negative 4 it will be plus 4, and a minus 3. Now this one, the normal vector is 1, 2, minus 3. So notice we have the same, uh, this direction vector is 1, 2, minus 3. This normal vector is 1, 2, minus 3. So in actuality what has happened is I'll just redraw my diagram. We have a plane, pretty poor plane. Here's our normal vector, 1, 2, minus 3. Here's our line, has a direction of 1, 2, minus 3. And what's the angle between this line and this plane? Well, since these are the same, that means it must be 90 degrees. So the angle is 90 degrees. Let's just go through the dot product to see how that would have, uh, what, what it would have looked like. So I need 1, 2, minus 3, so 1, 2, minus 3, dot 1, 2, minus 3, divided by the square root of, this is 9, plus 4 is 13, plus 1 is 14. So I have to square them all, right? 9 plus 4 plus 1, same thing, root 14. So then this is going to get 1 times 1, 2 times 2, 3 times 3, that is 14. Over root 14 times root 14 is 14, which is equal to 1. And remember I said to do uh, this sort of problem we need sine. So this is equal to sine of phi, we'll call it. So when is sine equal to 1? Well the unit circle says that happens right there. When the y value is equal to 1. So therefore, the angle is 90 degrees.